Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation, the Coffee Silver Connection, and how coffee could save silver. Yes, it seems like a strange combination, but indeed, yes, this is a wonderful beverage, which many of you have seen me partake of in my live streams, is coffee. And here we can see it is these grounds here that can play an integral role in helping to save silver. So let's uh, find out exactly what this is all about. You know, coffee has been utilized as a beverage for many, many years. And uh, there's some benefits to coffee, at least we hear. You know, that drinking um, coffee daily could help as a as a antioxidant and the like. But obviously the caffeine that's associated with it too has some other side effects which maybe aren't so good. Some religions actually ban the partaking of this fine beverage. And I wonder if there's any banishment of partaking in silver. But nonetheless, there is a uh, study that has been done in, by a group in South Korea that talks about this. The release of silver industrial wastewater has actually caused some serious environmental problems. Many methods have been developed to remove silver ions from industrial wastewater, including chemical precipitation, ion exchange, electrolysis, replacement, membrane, and reverse osmosis. You remember I talked about how it could be extracted from sewage from another study from another university. Several absorbents have been used to remove and recover silver from aqueous solutions or industrial wastewater. However, these absorbents are expensive and, and lately many low-cost materials have been tried, which includes waste of wool, of all things, peanut shells, crab shells, soybean hulls, and cotton. But now a group uh, from... Yang Jiwing, Wanju National University in Gangun, South Korea, led by Professor Chun Jong, has recycled waste coffee grounds to remove silver from industrial wastewater directly as a zero cost absorbent. From the Fourier transformed infrared spectra analysis, the group found that the waste coffee grounds, which have a porous and homogeneous structure, and are composed mainly of carbon and oxygen, have functioned, have functional groups like COO and OH, which play an important role in AG plus absorption. AG being the uh, symbol for, the atomic symbol for silver. The existence of AG ions on the absorbent was confirmed by scanning the electronic microscope images and energy dispersive X-ray. <clears throat> so there you have it. Quite fascinating indeed that a common everyday product, uh, waste, so it's after you drink your coffee, those, those wasted uh, uh, grounds, instead of going into the trash, could be used to extract silver from uh, uh, waste water, industrial waste water. You know, we talked about it in a prior video about how silver can be extracted from um, sewage or laundry waste and that type of thing. Because, as you know, there's many fabrics nowadays that have silver, little micro, little silver filaments or silver particles in it to help absorb bacteria, odor resistant, and the like. But now, uh, we're seeing this potentially being experimented on on an industrial scale. Which is quite fascinating, I think. I think, and as well as reinforces the case that silver really is never lost, and it can be recovered. In fact, they're working on it now. It, I should note that I've referenced a uh, study that was done well over two years ago. So who knows? This could be already in effect right now. And as you know, it's not necessarily just about uh, you know monetary value and recouping. Uh, the lost silver for for uh, for its value, but it's for other reasons too. Now, this mentions as a serious environmental problem. I'm not sure how much uh, 
you know, can be uh, tied to that, but that's their justification. There's other reasons, obviously, and uh, of course, but I think it's fascinating indeed to see that they're working on this and it is being done. The moral of the story, as it was the case with my video quite a while ago now, about how um, silver can be recovered from wastewater, from uh, residential wastewater. Well, this is something on an industrial scale. And if they find a way to recoup that silver, well, that silver that goes back into the marketplace and can be used for other applications, can be recycled for other applications, um, which is ideal because silver has so many uses, which also means that um, the consumption of silver doesn't necessarily mean that it, it disappears out of the, of the ionosphere or out of the world because it is being recovered, is being utilized again. Silver is an amazing metal, and part of the amazing factors about the metal is that it has the ability to be reconstituted in different manners, different forms. And, of course, you know, the silver prices as of late have started to increase a bit, which is good news. Um, but nonetheless, you know, there's going to be uh, ways to recover silver, especially when it becomes economically viable to do so. So there it is, coffee. Coffee grounds can be utilized to extract silver from wastewater. Very interesting indeed. Post your thoughts below about this discovery, um, even though it's well over a year old now. And uh, what are your thoughts about silver, the supply of it out there, and uh, its ability to be uh, utilized for many different uses, but also for the ability and the technology to be able to extract it back out uh, from where it has been used in different places. Um, you know, I also did a little cursory Google search on recovery of silver and gold, obviously, from electronic devices, and there's ways, and it's being implemented. And uh, so that's something to kind of keep in mind, too, especially as the price continues to climb, if it does. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, this is the outtake section of the video because I don't ever make mistakes, so I have to create my own mistakes so I can have an outtakes portion. So here we go. Greetings, members, one and all. I don't make... Oh, whoops. I'm just kidding. I don't make mistakes. Take two. Greetings, members, one and all. Coffee and silver. They're pretty cool. No... Boy, that sounds like a contrived mistake. I don't do that. Let's see here. Okay, let me see here. All right, one more time. Take three. Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. I'm going to talk about coffee and silver, whether you like it or not. But I hope you do like it, because why would I put a video out that you don't like? It happens from time to time. Boy, I'm rambling. Let me try this again. All right, let's see here. Remember, these are created outtakes, because I never... I just do one take usually. Actually, I'm kidding. I, I do make mistakes, but my mistakes are typically not worthy of an outtakes portion. So I've got to create this outtakes to make it seem like that I'm having an outtakes. By the way, stay tuned, because at the end of this, you're going to see the kitty. People have asked about the kitty. You're going to see the kitty at the end of this. You're going to see the kitty. Outtake number four. Just pretend like I'm making a mistake here. Greetings, members, one and all. The coffee and silver connection. There's really no other connection um, other than what I'm going to talk about in this video, which you've already seen because it's already passed. It was at the beginning of this video. That's it. Okay. Should I stack this on top of here? No, I won't be able to see it. These are eagles. These are bars. All right. One more outtake. By the way, just so you know, I do make mistakes. You understand. You know You know what I mean? But my outtakes are not worthy of a being an extra, so I've got to create my own. There we go. Okay. I forgot what I was going to do to make it sound like it's a mistake. Maybe that's a mistake. That's the mistake. Ah, there it is. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.
A multitude of giddy dude.